this is code.org. Let's see what we're up to. It looks like we're continuing what we did in the last challenge. Boom. Okay. So set collider. Sprites interact based on the size and shape of the colliders. If you're not seeing debug mode, make sure your debug is true here and here. All right. Not the images that are assigned to them. Right. So the sprite has a shape that we don't see, which is the collider, not the image of it. This is the same in professional development environments, even in 3D development environments, but particularly for sprites such as in Unity or Unreal. All right, you can only see the collider when debug mode is turned on. You can change the shape of the collider by using sprite.set collider block, which lets you pick between a rectangle or a circle. By default, all colliders are rectangles. Interesting. And in professional environments like Unity, which is a game development engine, you could even have the choice to edit almost by a pixel basis. So you could match something very closely. All right, do this. Find the sprite.set collider block for the gold coin and change it from rectangle to circle. All right. So, oh, here we go. Set collider. So we're using the gold coin variable. We're going to set it to a re interesting. Okay. Add a new sprite.set collider block to the silver coin. So I'm assuming it will be within sprites. Let me scroll down here. Some, oh, there's set collider. So I'll drop it right here. Now we don't have a sprite. We have something, our variable we named silver coin, and we don't want it to be a rectangle. We want it to be a circle. All right, run the code again to see how the sprites bounce. Cool, let's check it out. Oh, and look at the green here. You see how it's really tightly wrapped around them? So now the actual collision is taking place as one would expect. As be whereas before it was pretty much this square here, right? Now it's really close. Awesome, that's gonna be super useful when making uh, games. Let's keep going.